Hello, this is Katherine Dubberly, the answer lady. I'm a big fan of Kiss Looms. I greatly enjoy mine. And I am cooperating with Kelly at Kiss Looms to make you a playlist of all the basic techniques that you might ever want to know on all of the looms. So welcome and enjoy. Occasionally when loom knitting, you may get a stitch that is larger than the others, as I did there. It can occur if you pull down injudiciously, don't wrap just right, the fabric snags, any number of things. It shows up more easily on the purl side. The knit side may not catch your attention immediately. It's there. But it will, you'll catch your sight of yourself in a mirror or a shop window and you'll see a bumpiness that'll drive you nuts. I know I'm already pretty far along, but really it makes it worse. So here's how to get rid of it. Use either your loom tool or a needle to gently work that excess over to this edge and then we'll hide it in the seam. It'll still look a little bigger to me, so I'm going to bring it on some more. And watch carefully. I am working on an entire row of stitches. This is the path that the yarn took to make those stitches. It's painstaking work, so it's better not to get any uneven stitches. But go ahead, you be perfect first. Um, you're going to have them from time to time, I think most of us do and we get better and they get less frequent but occasionally something happens this will also work if you snag your sweater when you're wearing it suppose you catch it on a piece of hardware or a ring and you can use this technique very patiently to get rid of that excess see these no longer have that bumpy uneven look now over here, I have a real little loop of yarn. Had I found a tight stitch on my path, I would have just incorporated this into the tight stitch. Didn't find one, so I'll bring it on over to the very edge. And if it's at the very outside edge, we won't care that that's a little bit large. I can hide that in the seam. Let's 